Hey friends, do you enjoy a good spa treatment when you get taken care of so you can feel relaxed and refreshed? I bet you do. So a friend of mine, she attended a 40th birthday over the weekend and she stayed at this lovely hotel in Cape Town. She has a high stress job, a son that just entered in primary school and at the same time she needs to be a great wife to her husband. That weekend was exactly what she needed. When I spoke to her over the phone, she said that uh, she just finished the, this amazing spa session with her mom and I can hear it in her voice that she is relaxed and happy and just like laughing, which got me thinking, are you giving your sales story the spa treatment during your client meetings? What I'm trying to say is, are you selling with stories that will actually stick in people's minds? So allow me to share my spa framework to story selling and teach you how you can apply this to your own meeting. So the S stands for story, and I'm gonna just work through one quick example. And this story needs to land a point, that's the P part. And the last part is the application. It's one thing to tell a great story and to make a point. However, how does it apply to somebody else? When you share your key points uh, of a story with a client, it's extremely important to say, Dear Mr. and Mrs. Klein, this is how this applies to you. Now I get it, if you are sharing a story during a dinner party or a bribe, that's fine. But if you want to sell, you have to say, this is how it applies to you. So let's say um, I'm speaking to a potential client that has a high turnover rate in salespeople each month. Hi uh, hypothetical. Mr. Klein, Etienne and Kai, they are by river fishing and they hear a child yelling for help, and the child is being ca uh, carried downstream by the water towards them. Instinctively, because they're great guys, they jump into this river and save the child. Then they return to the bank. But here's another child crying for help. Then they save the second child, only for another child to come, and another. And Etienne and Kai are exhausted by now, but the children keep coming. Suddenly, Kai jumps out of the water and starts running towards the bank. What are you doing? Etin says, I need your help. And Kai says, we cannot keep on doing this. I have to stop the bastards that's causing this problem in the first place. So, what is the point? Mr. Client, downstream actions react to problems once they have occurred. Upstream uh, efforts aims to prevent these problems from happening in the first place. So Mr. Klein, this is how it applies to you. You told me multiple, client, uh, multiple times that you're hiring young sales people, the 20 and 25 years, because they have high energy and nothing to lose. Now that is your downstream problem. Hiring the inexperienced 20 to 25 years. They're great, I love them, but they are young and sometimes can be a bit impulsive. And this is most likely their first job. So to solve the problem, the upstream solution that I recommend is to look for people that are slightly more mature, the ones that are not really job hopping every few months, the ones with at least three years of proven track record to show that they can actually sell. So okay, friends, that is a quick demonstration of how you can apply the SPA framework to story selling. Hope you enjoyed this video and before you go please don't hit the don't forget to hit the subscribe button and share this video with just one person. See you next time. Bye.